Tokyo's public transport system is nothing short of a marvel. A thrilling ride through the veins of one of the world's largest cities. It's a labyrinth of trains, subways, buses and more that can seem intimidating at first. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Our video, Top 10 Tips for Navigating Tokyo's Public Transport is your secret weapon to conquer this massive metropolis, making your journey as smooth as a Shinkansen ride. So buckle up, we're about to embark on an exciting journey through Tokyo's public transport. The Japan Rail Pass, your golden ticket to exploring Tokyo without breaking the bank. This pass is a lifesaver for anyone planning to travel extensively across the city or even the country. Essentially, it's an all-you-can-ride ticket, granting you unlimited access to all Japan Rail National Trains, as well as JR bus services, ferry services, and even the Shinkansen, Japan's famous bullet trains. Now, who should get this pass? Anyone with an itinerary packed with long-distance trips will find the JR Pass incredibly cost-effective. Think about it as a buffet of travel. Pay one flat rate and enjoy the freedom to hop on and off JR lines as you please. On the other hand, if you're planning to stay within Tokyo and its suburbs, a single or round trip ticket might be a better fit. So, if you're planning on seeing a lot of Tokyo, the JR Pass might be your best travel companion. Suica and Pasmo the magic keys to Tokyo's transport kingdom. Imagine having a single card that unlocks the city's vast network of trains, buses, and even vending machines. That's exactly what the Suiza and Pasmo cards do. These rechargeable cards are your lifeline when navigating through Tokyo's bustling streets. You can easily purchase them at ticket machines located in every station. Just look for the English button and follow the simple steps. Remember, these cards aren't just for public transport. You can use them at convenience stores, vending machines, and even some restaurants. Recharging is a breeze too. Just head to any ticket machine, insert your card, and top it up with yen. The machines accept both coins and notes. So, no need to worry about having exact change. Navigating Tokyo's transport system becomes a whole lot simpler with these cards. With a Suica or Pasmo card in your pocket, you're ready to conquer Tokyo. Tokyo's major stations. A labyrinth that's not as intimidating as you think. Now, let's talk about navigating Tokyo's largest and busiest stations. Yes, they can seem like a maze, but with these tips, you'll be zipping through them like a local. First things first, always have a station map on hand. You can find these online or at the station itself. They will be your lifeline. Secondly, follow the color-coded signs. Tokyo's major stations have color-coded paths leading to different lines, making it easy to find your way. Thirdly, don't be afraid to ask. The station staff are there to help, and many speak English. They can point you in the right direction if you're lost. And finally, give yourself plenty of time. Tokyo's stations are not just transport hubs. They're shopping and dining destinations too. So take your time, explore and enjoy the journey. Remember, every journey begins with a single step, or in this case, a single station. Welcome to the digital age, where your smartphone is your ultimate travel guide. Tokyo's public transport system is a marvel of modern technology, and a handful of apps can make navigating it as smooth as silk. First up is the essential Hyperdia, perfect for real-time transit schedules. Whether you're chasing the last train or planning a day trip, Hyperdia has your back. Next, we have Google Maps. Sure, it's not exclusive to Tokyo, 
but its comprehensive station maps and route planning features are a lifesaver in the city's labyrinthine transport network. And let's not forget NaviTime Japan Travel. This app goes beyond just transport, offering spot recommendations and even offline support. If you're feeling adventurous, the Tokyo Subway Navigation app can challenge you with the fastest or cheapest routes to your destination. So go ahead and download these apps. With these apps, Tokyo's public transport is at your fingertips. Tokyo's rush hour, a sea of people that can be sidestepped with a little planning. When navigating Tokyo's public transport, the rush hour traffic can seem like an insurmountable wall, but with a few strategies up your sleeve, you can tackle it with ease and comfort. Firstly, knowing the peak hours is crucial. These typically fall between 7 and 9 in the morning and 5 to 7 in the evening. If you can, plan your travel outside of these times. Secondly, consider alternative routes. Tokyo's transport system is incredibly intricate and there's often more than one way to get to your destination. Perhaps a slightly longer route could save you from being squeezed into a crowded train. Finally, embrace the local culture of reading or listening to music during the commute. This can make the journey feel shorter and more enjoyable, even during the busiest times. Remember, timing is everything. Language and etiquette, your passport to a smooth journey through Tokyo. Let's dive into the nitty gritty of language tips and cultural etiquette. Even with the best maps and apps, language can sometimes be a barrier. Here are a few essential Japanese phrases to help you navigate the city with ease. Try sumimasen or excuse me, handy for catching attention or apologizing for small mishaps. Doko desu ka means where is it? Crucial for finding your way. And let's not forget arigato, which means thank you a universal phrase to show gratitude. Now, on to the signs. The most common one you'll encounter is chuku, which means exit. Ruku is entrance. And daiheishi is waiting room. Master these and you're already a step ahead. Tokyo's public transit is more than just routes and schedules. It's a reflection of the city's culture and respecting local etiquette is essential. Here are a few do's and don'ts. Do remember to queue and wait for passengers to exit before boarding. Tokyoites take their cues seriously, and you should too. Don't talk loudly or use your phone on the train. It's seen as a disruption to the tranquil commuting environment. Do give up your seat for the elderly, pregnant women, and people with disabilities. And don't forget, eating is generally frowned upon, so save the sushi for later. Now, this one might seem odd, but avoid pointing with your finger. Instead, use your entire hand to gesture. It's just the polite way to do it here. Lastly, punctuality is key. The Japanese take great pride in their efficiency, and trains are rarely late, so ensure you're on time. Remember, missing a train is not an excuse for tardiness. With these language tips and etiquette rules, you'll be traveling like a local in no time. Accessibility, connectivity and safety, the building blocks of a worry-free journey. Let's begin with accessible travel. Tokyo's public transport system is committed to making travel easy for everyone. Many stations have lifts and ramps for wheelchair users, tactile paving for visually impaired individuals, and wide gates for those with mobility aids. Not to mention, there are priority seats and spaces on trains and buses specifically for those who need them. So, 
Whether you're traveling with a stroller, a wheelchair, or a service animal, Tokyo's public transport has got you covered. Now let's talk about staying connected. In today's digital age, it's practically essential to stay online wherever you are. Luckily, Tokyo's public transport system offers Wi-Fi access points at many of its stations. These hotspots can be a lifesaver when you need to check your route or send a quick message home. And if you're a social media aficionado, you can keep your followers updated with your Tokyo adventures in real time. Finally, on to safety and emergency procedures. While it's highly unlikely you'll face an emergency situation on Tokyo's public transport, it's always a good idea to be prepared. In case of an emergency, follow the instructions given by the staff and use the emergency communication devices available on all trains and buses. Remember, your safety is the highest priority and Tokyo's public transport system is designed to ensure that you reach your destination safe and sound. In the end, it's all about being informed and prepared. With the right knowledge about accessibility options, an understanding of how to stay connected, and an awareness of emergency procedures, you can navigate Tokyo's public transport system with confidence and ease. Armed with these tips, you're ready to tackle Tokyo's public transport like a pro. So there you have it, your survival guide to navigating Tokyo's public transport. We've cracked the code on the JR Pass, mastered the Suica and Pasmo cards, and untangled the web of Tokyo's major stations. We've even dipped our toes into the digital world with essential apps, sidestepped rush hour, learned key phrases, and got the scoop on cultural etiquette. Plus, we've covered accessible travel, staying connected, and emergency procedures. Now go forth and conquer the bustling metropolis of Tokyo.